Hey guys, welcome back. Today let's talk about whole sensor issues. So on old version uh, e-bikes as A8, A9, 52 volts, it's got 24 and new version 60 volts e-bike, it's got E36. So what is that code about? This code about one or few whole sensors failure. So but again, it's not necessary whole sensor inside the wheel. It could be problem with wire or it could be problem with controller. Today, I'm gonna show you how to check whole sensors on your wheel. And the easiest way how to check it for regular users, it is just with multimeter. All you need to have is multimeter with option diodes. Diodes direct current so DC the best option to do that is when your wheel is open and you can see all wires but I will leave a link under the video so you can buy actually wires like this it comes like together female and female and in that case you can just connect this wire to your plug and check your whole sensors without um, opening the wheel itself why we need this adapter because as you can see when we open that plugs on our wheel this pin is so tiny especially this three large one it's phase wires but the small one the pins is for hole sensors and they are so tiny and if like with female side uh, we're not gonna have much problem it's a controller side but on the wheel side we can damage with these probes if we're gonna try to touch these pins we can damage them very very easy we can bend them and after they're gonna work not gonna work also it's very hard to understand which one is positive negative and which one is which because they are different like in the color inside the wheel like uh, wires to the uh, hole sensors that's why i really recommend it and i would say it must have cables to do your proper diagnostic uh, so what we do gonna do first we're gonna unplug wheel and we will connect our cable to that plug make sure you line up uh, with arrows on each of your uh, plugs we have arrow arrow here arrow here they line up for diagnostic it's not necessary to tie all our connections it just plug in like this so once it's plugged now let's see let's talk about wires so these three bigger one it's uh, your phase wires we don't need them now all we need we need these six wires from the call sensors normally it's only five so two of them are black and red is power red positive uh, black negative and blue green and yellow it is uh, signal wires here we have six the wire number six is white usually it's used for speed sensor so what is spin speed sensor there it's uh, also a whole, sen whole sensor on the middle of the motor and it's just reading how many uh, revolutions your motor did and uh, that's and how fast per, per second i would say and that's calculate what is your speed on your wheel and it's active for rear wheel on our uh, bikes and not active for the uh, front wheel so all we need to check we need to check ours these five wires so what we have to do i will show you so we have to take our multimeter and put on diode so once it's turned on what we have to do we have to take our positive probe and connect to the positive wire red wire it's a positive su power supply for our uh, whole sensor after that we just have to check one by one wires and it should read about like 1.2 1.3 1.4 whatever it should be same same amount of the parameters uh, on the screen for each sensor so as you can see here we have 1.4 green wire 1.4 
and blue wire 1.4 so it means all our three sensors uh, hole sensors on positive side is good so now we have to check on the negative side because sometimes it's, it's good on positive side and bad on negative side but most time it's if it's bad on one side like negative or positive it means it's bad on the other side too but anyway just to be sure we have to check now we're taking negative cable negative wire black and we're connecting again to the positive probe and we're going to check each single wire again and here should be parameter about like 0 0.4 point5 point6 depending on the type of hole sensor again it should be everything same so 0.6 as you can see 0.6 as you can see and blue one 0.6 as you can see so it means all our sensors whole sensors is good here we can check uh, white one white one what I can tell for front wheel here it is exist it is exist here but it's not connected to the uh, controller for a852 volts and I can tell you on a uh, a860 volts uh, white wire is just zero because uh, for front wheel because there is no uh, hole sensor for speed uh, in front wheel on other on 60 volt model but anyway that's the easiest way how to check if your motor need to be replaced uh, other thing for the motor what you can check with these three phase wires if they are actually uh, if the phase wires or the phase coils is good or not so what it can be like example example you have some strange noise uh, while you're riding or so like some cranks or something like this so in that case you have to check your uh, phase wires what you have to do you just have to take two wires like this two phase wires and connect to each other and just try to roll bike back and forth or just lift and spin wheel front direction and opposite direction uh, and you should feel restriction so that should be difference between how it spins with not shortened phase and shortened phase so with shortened phase you should feel restriction because their electromagnetic field creates kind of like like recuperation uh, condition so you should check green to yellow green to blue and yellow to blue and each single time it should be affected and after you can connect all three together and in that case it's going to be hardest way to move wheel because all phases going to be uh, shortened that's how you check phases and how you check your hole sensors on your wheel so i hope it was useful and you can use it in your real life so another way how to check your uh, hole sensors not only on the wheel side but also on the controller side is to buy box like this this box or this type of boxes they have like many different variants but they working pretty the same this with this box you can check phases on controller side you can check uh, on the controller side uh, hole sensors outputs and it inputs you can check hole sensors on a wheel you can check motor phases and also you can check your throttle and brake lever how it's working so all you can do with this box just one uh, little bit difficulties with any Oki controllers because uh, these standard plugs doesn't work for any Oki controllers because any Oki controller have all these wires is going to uh, controller directly and it's sealed there so between wire and controller we don't have this plug but anyway uh, on one of the next videos I will show you how you can do that uh, if you have that cables if you have that cables so we still can use uh, this box to check everything what we need so if you find this information useful please like and subscribe see you in the next videos